I could do. Uh, yeah. huh? I want to do one on gray for Brian and okay. Sally. Okay. Both of them. So why did he scratch his name in it, Thomas? Does anybody know? Well, I don't know about that one. I do know that. I don't remember what company Sally. it was. I want to say Gibson. Sally. I want to say Gibson. Let's just say Gibson. When we get a moment, Let's just say a major guitar Brian. manufacturer. We were backstage one night and there brought in about five guitars. For you both. And that John looks at them, picks one up. He always wore this big belt buckle with these eagle claws on it. Mm -hmm. Loved this belt buckle when I was a kid. So the claws would eat into his back. Right, so he, yeah. took, he took it and went. So I'll take this one. You know, made it his, made his mark. But that I don't know about personally. Thomas, this has a little plaque on it for that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was for an auction that, it was a, that he donated to this organization. See, he actually donated it to that organization and scratched How his name in it. How did up back? Well, they probably sold it at the auction. And obviously That's it's... Fundraiser. So it's a Martin. It's been around the block a few times. Yeah, I don't know yeah. so those are the, that? How did we the tickets it? where he was <laughs> flying and doing right. different stuff. Who the hotels where he was back checking. Right. right. So he's played that guitar a little bit. A few times, maybe. A few times. That one says... That's Brian Oxley. Brian Oxley. <laughs> Dallas Market Center. Marriott Hotel. Marriott. That's incredible. That's a uh, that's an airplane, airline, isn't it? Amazing. <laughs> Martin Guitar donated to the Metropolitan Museum of Art for the benefit auction. Arms and Armor Christie's New York. October 8th, 1985. And so that's, he scratched that in it. October 8th, 1985. Yeah. And he donated. Hmm. Incredible. It's an old Martin. And that is a Martin. I think Brian said 35,000. Something like that. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> So how did she get it? How would she got it back from the art museum unless she bought it at yeah, the she body? Incredible. That's uh, who she donated to. Today. The church out there. Like a half a million dollars of them. Yeah. So. No, my great grandma. Your great Carrie. grandma, Carrie. Yeah, she, yeah, I mean it's amazing facility. It's such a quite a campus. With she was going there when they were. They, they used to be in another location. She's been going there since then. Well, she wasn't was the there. land? The land was donated also for that. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Was it connected with Conway Twitty's land? It, it backed up, it up backed to. Backed up to yeah. So. That's what I thought. At one point, that was all one. Yeah. We used to tear that property up with motorcycles. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we used to tear all this property up with motorcycles, including this one. <laughs> hey, listen. Um, Unfortunately, we don't have ice. I'm sorry. You got way of not selling the ice. Yeah. Oh. yeah. And, um, <laughs> you Wow. Is that your song, Brian? That's my song. I mean, the, this one was very much the mix, the, the, the production, the mix, the production, the production, Matthew. I really enjoyed working with him. What I see in the town. Did you write this yourself, Thomas? Rick wrote I just changed a few lyrics here and there. Hey, so the you way, and him together. This is a very cool show. I know, I've seen this. Incredible. And that, that's where this he gave that guitar to the, you know. It's very neat. So 
Okay, so say what I just, just talk to me, Thomas, and let's just talk to me. Okay. It's not about the how. The, the house is incidental to your conversation. You're just saying, hey, I'm sitting here where where when things are really tough at the end of your life. This is, I know this is where you're sitting, and I thought this would be where I... Well, I was going to talk about, like, as a kid, I ran up and down the hallways of this house. And then it was my grand great-grandmother's, and... I really but he knows that. Him. See, you're talking to them. Is that weird that he's talking to his grandpa? No. No. Because, no. see, the way I'm going to do it is, is I, I think the the other guy's going to be inside there already. Came Tennessee waltzing in. And music city so for the song. So you went C to D? Yeah, just, don't need to, I'm not I'm just gonna do like the first two. Yeah, points. just just move your fingers. And then just Just move yeah. your fingers. Don't, yeah. don't I'm not even gonna worry about that. Alright, yeah. so sit back in the seat and let's let's okay. get let's make sure the light's good. As you come in the room, if it's if it's cool with him, spot as you guys come in the room, then I'll just start going. Absolutely. Yeah. And you come in anytime you want. Okay. Yeah, you just get comfortable. Now, remember, this is not about doing a show. This is about telling a story. Okay. okay. So, make it more about the story. And probably my final shot is going to be, when you're done with the song, I'll probably do something like that, that right there. Yeah. That's going to be the final shot. All right. Like from, 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 from? Yeah. From? Yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe. Something like that, I'll hit that. And then across tunnels. Yeah. Man, that, that lamp is just in the wrong place. Let me, let me move it over again. I'm sorry, Thomas. Isn't it fun? It's the reflection is... What if it was off? Well, we need... Uh, we don't have enough light in here. Okay. okay. Shut up. Yeah, that should be better there, bro. Yeah, just see. I was thinking from John to Thomas to the Bible. So, how long, how long is your walk? <clears throat> Ever how long it is? Yeah, this is not, we're not doing a specific time. Okay. We're doing, gotcha. just letting it, letting it happen. Gotcha. Stretch it out. We got this. All right. So friends, this is the Spa Guy, and we're at Mama Cash's house again. And you see I'm wearing a hat today. I just got off the bus, been on tour. Stopped by to see Thomas here at Mama Cash's house, which is Johnny Cash's mom and dad's house, right. which is your great grandma and granddaddy's house. Right. And you actually lived here for a period of time. I did. Yeah. And you've got a song that you're going to be doing here uh, for us in just a little bit. We're going to introduce Thomas to you, friends, so you uh, get to learn who he is and what he does. So tell us a little bit about the house. What what happened uh, this house, down there? This house has been in the family since 68. And my grandparents, Carrie and Ray, lived here. Great grandparents, Carrie and Ray. This is my great grandmother's room here. It's a wonderful round bed and all. It was, as a child, that was the bed to run down this hall and then jump on that bed. So, um, this house brings back a lot of memories. Christmas is here, Thanksgiving's here, or just Sunday afternoons with grandparents, you know, or Carol Burnett in the in the big chair with grandpa, great grandpa Ray, with cinnamon sticks. Um, this was the back porch. We used to hang out here on nice days. And this was my great grandpa's room here, Ray. He stayed in here. And uh, he had a perfect view of the lake outside. And we'd, uh, as kids, like I said, run up and down this hallway, jump on the bed or whatever, and get, a, you know, grandma, grandpa would get onto us, climb the rock wall, we got in there. This was my room in high school. And, uh, well, well, we'll just leave that there. We'll just leave that one. Lived here for a couple of years. <laughs> lived here for a couple of years. Graduated. When I graduated high school, I lived here. And this is the room that it was my grandmother's sewing room um, when she was alive. My great grandmother's sewing room. But um, when my grandfather Johnny, when he got sick, they were putting an elevator over at uh, installing one at his house. And this is a one-story flat, you know. So he would stay here. It was easier to get around. He needed exercise up and down this hallway, getting out of his wheelchair and all. 
And, you know, when you're sick, you don't be at mama's house. And this was what this was, Mama Cash's house. So, and still is. It'll always be. I don't care uh, any age and time. This, this will always be Mama Cash's house. So, um, I'm going to go in here. And I, I wrote a, We wrote a song that uh, Rick and I, Rick Scott, um, we wrote a song about uh, the way Nashville has changed and when I came back to Nashville. Um, was gone for a little while. Was gone for about a decade and when I came back I couldn't believe how, how things have changed in Nashville and not only Nashville but this area altogether. Hendersonville, Rivergate and all that had changed so much. But the, also the music scene had changed to where uh, I didn't even recognize it anymore. Country music and country radio had changed to the point where I, uh, well, actually I go down the road and don't even listen to the radio most of the time. But coming back, um, this song here, it kind of, it, it's kind of the way I think my grandfather would see it now and what I'm trying to do as far as carrying his uh, music, you know, it, it's like, uh, it's like a watch from your grandpa, you know, or uh, anything else that gets handed down. I got handed down music, and that's the way I feel. That's what I feel I'm entitled to is uh, carrying his his music along, and therefore my music. Um, so I hope you like it. It's called Twang Town. Back in 1989, this town took a nosedive, it caved in. And the powers that be, with their money and greed, came Tennessee waltzing in. City sold for a song. The star studded singers had all moved on. There was nobody left to turn the lights back on in Twang Town. Out here in Twang Town. So I just came back to pay my last respects to this soulless town. It used to shine its former glory, but you sure couldn't tell it now. And Broadway feels just like Fifth Avenue And Music Row is filled with GQ But now there's somebody left To turn the lights back on In Twang Town No, oh, here in Twang Town I'm going back to where the Opry was grand Back to where it all began When heart and soul had magical rhymes Back to all those innocent times now I'm doing my best to turn the lights back on in Twain Town. Oh, here in Twain Town. Now I'm doing my best to turn the lights back on in Twain Town. Thank you.
So friends, this Bible was Johnny's personal Bible that we featured in that. It actually belonged to Johnny. If you want to, you can open the cover. It shows, uh, it shows <coughs> that he owned it. Yep, so it says property of Johnny Cash, 200 Caldwell Drive, Hendersonville, Tennessee. And it says, I can't read it, Baptist Hospital. Hey, Thomas, let's just do this, because you do use the hallway. I don't want to do it. I, I think I'm going November 1983, Nashville yeah. Baptist Hospital, property yeah, of Johnny Cash. Personal Bible friends. When I'm gray. Here, stick that camera over there and point it to me. You know how they had the D28. Not every day you get to play Johnny's guitar. Is it on? Is it film? Yes, sir. Oh, how am I supposed to get around? No, go ahead. No, no, move around. Don't worry about that. Sally, go ahead. You can set it up on the wanted one with him in his that room yeah because that's, that's the room, room, that's, you know. the room. that's where he suffered how cool was that yeah not me but you know me yeah hey are you sure that the guy hank snow's son is not coming to he didn't send us a text or email or phone or anything coming today <laughs> yes jimmy uh, jimmy yeah he's well we already filmed them but I'm buying a bunch of Hank Snow stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, when is that Hank Snow guy coming? <laughs> hey, uh, this is my uh, tribute to Hank Snow. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> and that's Hank falling off. Oh, that's what the Colonel did. That's what the Colonel did to Hank up. with Elvis's contract. I grew up in a house in Madison yeah. that backed up to Rainbow Ranch. Right. Oh, really? My backyard met his right. backyard. So I don't know where Rainbow Ranch is at. Well, the guy, oh, in Madison. It's owner, where? East Marathon in Madison. Well, the owner of that house is coming oh, in minutes is? now. Really? And it's his relative from Canada. And so when, uh, <laughs> when, when, uh, when, uh, when uh, what's his name, when uh, Billy you know sold the house, <laughs> they ended up buying it. No, I'm Clear gonna... the table. Let's do this right. <laughs> That's funny. Well, I want... This is very important to me. Brian, it's kind of sick. <laughs> it's real sick. Oh well. Wow. It's wrong on so many levels. But... <laughs> it is. Well, that is wrong. <laughs> Come on, man. Why doesn't this guy stay on the horse? He's not this ain't a rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of like a rodeo. Hey Sally, get my other guy there. <laughs> no, this is my... This one? This the is surface. my... I'm remember remember Colonel Parker was a carny. Yes. So, this is to him, the, the carny. He was the best. He was the best carny. 
and I'm going to make a little circus. Here's my first employee. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Look, Elvis is not smiling all of a sudden. That's great. See, this is what you got to have to, be, to get through life, you know? And then That's bring it. my headless bird. Oh no. Yeah. Way to put it back on. Oh my god. My, my grandma had one of those in the window. See? Look. The head's down here. The head's down there, but right. it's still living. It's oh, hanging god. in. <laughs> like a chicken. Chicken <laughs> lying around his head. Cut off. Right, that was the guy that's called a couple times. His name is Jericho. He's come up from Florida. He made that name up on his way up. Yeah. Yeah, no, he called a few weeks ago, but. He wants to see the house. Nobody's named Jericho. Right. He and his wife. It's beautiful. So they do a great job of printing. It looks like it's you know it's got depth and dimension to it. It's beautiful. You could sell that too if you can want. Can I sell these? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So friends, we were just in Mama Cash's house. Listening to Thomas. He goes under the name Thomas Gabriel, by the way. His last name is Coggins. He was the oldest daughter's son and the first grandchild. We'll hop into Grey Ghost and go home. That's Johnny's house. It burned right over there. This is Mama Cash's house right here. That's a shame we had to hear that in front of Johnny's house. <laughs> 